Good morning to everybody. It is December 12th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. And we are still getting a little bit, well, it's it was pretty much off most of the night, but it started again in about, I don't know, about an hour ago. It's 10 a.m. on the dot, 27 degrees. Um, it's not gonna get any warmer than this today, supposedly. So all this snow is gonna stick around you guys, which is good. And we're gonna get another inch or maybe a couple inches if we're lucky. So if we get another inch, it'll be double what we got through the massive snowstorm. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna kind of uh, take a little snow drive just to give you guys an update. So we're driving through the new roundabout area in Moon Ridge. How are you guys doing today? You guys doing good? I hope so, I hope so. I'm doing pretty good. I, I got a good night's sleep last night, which is pretty rare for me. So I'm very, very, very grateful. <clears throat> right now, all we're gonna do is drive through uh, Moon Ridge. I was gonna consider going up to Upper Moon Ridge, but it's probably gonna be super, super dangerous. But danger is my middle name. <laughs> we're just gonna do a tour to both the ski resorts and then also go to uh, the village area, stick to the main parts of this road or this this tourist drive because this is where you guys are mostly cruising. But yeah, this is great. Getting some snow right now. Actually, the temperature just, just went up to 28. And that's okay, man. That's okay. I woke up to a couple donations today. You guys are insane. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Like, thank you so much. Um, I can't believe it, honestly. I can't believe it. I still will never get used to it because I feel like I'm such a dork for the things that I do on this channel. And But you guys make me feel so good about it. And you guys make me feel so appreciated. I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm thankful for everything when it comes to this channel. Once again, you guys have saved my life. And that's that's no joke. You guys have a much bigger impact than you'll ever understand. But yeah, so we, we could get another one to three inches by about two o'clock today. So another four, five hours of snow on and off. So we're we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, if it gets too late, by the time the snow ends, I'll be doing the aftermath video tomorrow morning. But the good thing is, is that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the temperatures don't get above freezing, which it's not supposed to, to uh, today. And I think it's supposed to get up to freezing tomorrow. So if I can get out there before the temps get above freezing tomorrow for the aftermath video, then basically we'll still have all the snow. So you guys can see how beautiful this winter wonderland really is. I'm excited about that. Big old, big old plow right there. So we're coming up to Bear Mountain right here, you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful, my gosh. Look at the parking lots. This isn't as crowded as you would think, you guys. Even though both these lots are full, they're not using any of the other satellite parking lots for skiing today, so you guys will be super good if you are up here or if you do come up here i think you'll still have a great time you won't have to wait in too many lines yeah this is beautiful it's 
see here. Look at that. Look at that. So we're going to be cruising down back around to go by Snow Summit real quick. You guys are going to see how pretty that looks as well. I love you guys so much. I love doing these videos for you guys. It makes me so happy. I love my new Subaru. This thing is so awesome. It grips like a champ. But then again, it's because I have snow tires on here also. So... And once again, they aren't all-terrain tires. They aren't winter tires. They're, they're, they're specifically snow tires. There's the beautiful golf course. I think it'd be kind of fun to try and play golf in the snow. Obviously, you can't use a white ball or you'll never find it. But I think that'd be pretty fun. Oh, it's so gorgeous, you guys. My goodness. Look at the beauty. It's so overwhelming. Overwhelming. I've got so much snow in between my wheel wells, or in my wheel wells, in between the tires. And I'm worried that it's gonna pop off my quarter panel. But yeah, I've already been screwing up this brand new car and I'm a little bit bummed about it, but you guys are worth it. Part of my bumper came off because there was a huge pile of snow that I had to get through and it snapped, part of it snapped off, almost made me cry. <laughs> Literally almost made me cry. <coughs> Cause I have so much cleaning stuff in this car to like keep it clean on the inside, especially. Wow, uh, golf course, man, that's beautiful. Looking back on, on Bear Mountain area. Oh, it's just gorgeous, you guys. I am so lucky to live here. I am so lucky to live here. Temperature has dropped. It's 25 out right now. Let me, let me get the freaking map going here. Hang on. Turn on our map. Mappy. Let's see here. You just hit me up, my friend. I got you covered. So I'm wondering how to how I get to my map right now. Anyway, we're going through the roundabout area. This is so difficult. I don't know how you guys are going to do well through this roundabout because if there's any amount of snow, you can't see. It just seems like this was pointless. And I've seen so many so many accidents on these roundabouts already kind of a bummer I want you guys to be safe I don't want you guys struggling through here connection unsuccessful how dare you how dare you why is that why did that happen we're gonna try it a different way and instead of taking moon ridge all the way back we're gonna take uh what's this street called again evergreen Try 
to connect the device. Connect. Okay, I'm wondering why this isn't working out. Let me make sure my, my Bluetooth is on. Yeah, my Bluetooth's on. That. Come on, let's see. Is, I think it's the Subaru Bluetooth because I've got the other Subaru that I was using Bluetooth in it as well. Okay, so you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna pull over and restart the car. So hang on a second, guys. All right, let's see if that will do anything open the car door like we're exiting the car. Look at all the beautiful snow coming down. This is beautiful, guys. All right, it says, see you, Nick. Hello, Nick. I agree. Let's go home here. It might take a second, but I hope it ends up working out. Anyways, we're getting some good snow right now. This is gorgeous. All right, so we're just gonna wait a second. Hang on, maybe I gotta do this. Hang on a sec. Okay, well I can't get the darn car connect thing to work. I don't know what the heck's going on. It's unfortunate, but at least we're getting good snow, right? <laughs> wow, this is the heaviest it's snowed during this storm as far as I've seen. I mean, I know this isn't saying much. Everyone else in any other snowy area in this country is probably like, Wow, you're getting flurries. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> but it feels good. Definitely enjoying it. Definitely enjoying it. Very much so. Very much so. Oh, cheerio. Carry on now. All right. Here we go. So we're coming up to Summit Boulevard in just a moment. And we're going to take a little swing through. I, I know they're not going to let me through at Snow Summit. So we're going to get as close as we can just to get some, some nice, beautiful views. But that's probably the best that's going to be able to happen for us. Oh, I love doing this for you guys, man. I love it. So many people on, on Summit Boulevard right now. Oops. There we go. gonna let me through and they're usually not in the best mood either so we're gonna go down Switzerland right here I wish they would let me through but they aren't snow summits packed you guys I mean just packed upper lots full proceed to lower lot wish we could get a better view of snow summit but you guys got a good view of bear today didn't it look gorgeous you guys didn't it look amazing eventually get this snow out of my wheel wells my neighbor a good friend of mine gave me some good suggestions he was saying use some hot water and and spray it in there and then after a few minutes start to like pick away at it 
Um, and then he also suggested to use a wooden spoon. He said, just be careful because the spoons can break very easily. <laughs> See, I'm gonna turn on my phone again, the other phone. Maybe it's not connecting because it's try both my iPhones are fighting for a connection right now, maybe. Maybe that's that's the case, who knows. But I, w I did wanna take the side streets for you guys, but we're gonna take the main road just so you can see what it's like on the main, main road right now on Big Bear Boulevard. And as I said, we're gonna cut through the village again because it's so beautiful during these conditions. I mean, just so gorgeous. Look at me as a youngster. <laughs> what a dork. Look at me. What a cutie pie. All right, let's see here. It is so beautiful out here though, guys. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. It's something to behold. Something to behold. Wow, that guy just pulled right out in front of all 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 these guys. Patience is a virtue up here, guys. It really is. It really is. I know down the mountain we don't have a lot of patience. I never did. And up here it can get even harder. So just uh, just please be as safe as possible. I love you guys. I don't want you guys to get hurt. Here we go. People are like holding on to the steering wheel for dear life. It's hilarious. It really is. Oh no, poor guy. So guys, this is something you don't want to do. I mean, I feel bad for this guy, but you don't want to put your tire chains on in the middle of the road. Um, it's just so dangerous and not smart at all. Um, what ends up happening is a lot of these other drivers who can't drive in the snow either, um, they'll end up sliding right into your car. And uh, yeah, I'm sure the guy's doing it because he didn't have a choice. But if you guys have a choice, please pull off the road. Please, I beg of you to pull off the road so nothing happens to you guys. It's dangerous. It's really dangerous. It's no joke. As I said, you, you'll see cars spun out all over the place. And to think that you're gonna be safe just stopping right here and tossing on your, your tire chains, it's, 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 uh, you, you'll have something else coming. And I don't want any of you to get hurt. That's why I get upset because I don't want you guys to get hurt. I'm not upset at you for trying to be as safe as possible. Just pull off the road somewhere. Please, I beg you. It's really cold. I always worry about rolling down my windows when it's cold because I don't want to bust the, the inner workings of my window. But we need to put the camera outside the window because it's overheating. here at, at uh, Pine Knot and go into the village, the village, the village, and we're going to go to Target. 
I wish we had like a target or like something up here. But we don't have anything. We had a Kmart, which was just sad. That place was terrible, but it was something. It was something. This this town needs something really nice. We need some like some some five star shopping and stuff like 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 that. Like uh we don't have that much in that when it comes to that stuff, so or we don't have anything actually. It'd be nice to give everyone who comes up here an option for stuff that they like. Some people like to spend a lot more money. You can't blame them. You know, you 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 work harder. You you don't go out on Friday and Saturday nights, and you focus on your business, and you end up making more. It'd be nice to have some five star uh, amenities up here for 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 those of you who have done a lot more in your in your time in terms of like as I said, not partying and doing all that stuff, just working your butts off. <laughs> I know I work my butt off every single day. And then I have this YouTube channel on the side and uh, you know, my attitude is it'll eventually pay off. It'll eventually pay off. Being consistent and following my passion, no matter what I win, no matter what. Because if money ends up coming in down the road, it's icing on the cake. But no matter what, I've, I've won because I get to wake up every day and say, wow, I get to do this or I love what I do. When in the past, I would always wake up and be like, dang it, this sucks, I have to go to work. I don't have that attitude anymore. And I work about 50, 60 hours per week. And then I have the YouTube channel on the side My wife wishes that I that I wasn't always working, but you know, unfortunately, because there's not much money to be made up here, um, I have to work as much as I possibly can just to just to have a decent life and to to pay all all my bills. And I never have anything left over each month, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not like I'm planning on, 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 on retiring next week anyway, so I have to be working anyway. That's the attitude I take towards it. And I love it. I love it. Working makes you feel so good. Coming home from a hard day's work and sacrificing and just doing what you got to do, it feels really, really good. Sitting on the couch and not giving yourself a chance when everybody's worth it does not feel good. At least from my personal experience, it doesn't feel good to just live that life because I did that for a couple years before I moved up here. For years, I was selling real estate for my mom's company in Newport Beach. And uh, then I, I, I became kind of a bum for a while. My depression kicked in. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to be a part of anything. Life was miserable for me. And uh, yeah, it was, it was super, super rough. And it got really hard to get back into that working mode because I had been going so long without work. So yeah, I'm, I'm super, super grateful that I'm forced to, to have to work so hard all the time. I mean, it's literally like just like from early, early morning until late night, every single day. And as I said, when I have these videos to make, then it's just that much more work too. But once again, it's not something that I'm, I'm that I'm bummed out about. Like I love the feeling I get from a good hard day's work. It feels great. Still trying to work the Bluetooth situation. I don't know why it's not hooking up. I reset the phone and everything. 
connection unsuccessful. Make sure Outback is turned on. It is. It really is. So we're gonna have to plug the phone in then again. But it's just a bummer that I, I can't get this to work. Like, I, I just can't get it to work. Right, let's see, let me try this. Oh my gosh, it says connected. No way. I hope that's not BSing me. I hope it's not BSing me. Look, connected at the top there. Don't lie to me. Oh, now it says unsuccessful. I wasn't paying attention to the car in front of me and I noticed a, a new feature of, of this car. It beeped and it said the car moved ahead of you. Holy moly, that is awesome, guys. But I shouldn't be not paying attention. So that's uh, that's not awesome. I apologize about that. I apologize. I applejize. I've got to applejize. Well, anyway, guys, this weather is so amazing. I am so, so grateful. Yeah, I'm super disappointed in why I can't figure out how to get this darn thing to hook up. We'll get it figured out. Okay, hang on a second. It says connected. Okay, so then if it's connected, why isn't anything showing up on the screen? up happening is you'll get cars to take both lanes which is fine I just want you guys to be safe and if you guys got to take both lanes to be safe then you know what do what you got to do do what you got to do
All right, so once again, I'm gonna try and get the car thing going. I just, I, I just don't get it. I really don't. You know what, maybe I'll do this. I will forget this device. And then where it comes to uh, delete. When I get home, I'll figure it out. Anyway, you guys, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Enjoying this beautiful snow. It is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Love you guys tremendously. I wish you guys always the best. I hope you have a very safe day out there. Hope you enjoy the videos and hopefully hopefully it brings peace into your to your soul and hearts to cruise around in the snow with me. I love you guys a lot and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.